Hi, my name is Dandy Gustavus. Uh, I am an artisan baker in England for over 22 years baking artisan breads, specializing in sourdoughs. And I want to show you some ways of doing some lovely artisan and sourdough breads. Now let's make some uh, whole grain bread. I call it cracked wheat uh, because I use already, you know, the cracked grain. If you use whole grains, even with cracked grains, something is very, very important. You need a hot soaker. You need some boiling water poured over your grain and left to sit for several hours. Or if you take cold water, let it be left overnight. Otherwise, the texture of your bread will be really tooth crunching. Your dentist will probably appreciate that. But what we actually do is um, I'm using here about 25 gram cracked grains, six grams of sea salt. I have three grams of yeast. I use a little bit of mold instead of sugar. Um, I try not to use sugar in itself. If you can't get powdered mold, you will be able to pick some liquid up. Uh, a little bit of wholemeal flour, really, really, 30 grams of it. 240 grams of white flour and 165 grams of water. I actually deduct that water on that and I pour the hot water over the grains and let it sit for several hours. Now let's get on and make the bread in itself. So I always have, I have my white flour put in my ingredients from the mold to the yeast stir it around so your yeast doesn't necessarily come in contact with the uh, salt. And adding my wholemeal flour into that, going through there if there's no lumps. And I have about 50 grams of my sourdough uh, in there which I had prepared. So there is 50 grams about half that amount here. Put in my cracked grains, which I've soaked with the water. And now here we start. In the beginning, just work the flour slightly over. Yep, so you can actually see that. Coming together, the water has been absorbed. Everything been thrown into the middle and I just turn the bowl and you can actually see. And when it comes up to this texture, out there looking like a dish rag in there, take a little bit of flour, not too much, put it on the table, because we don't want the texture of the bread getting too dry. Well, at this stage it helps if you get your little scraper up here. So gather everything around. It's still the mixing process. And now I try to combine everything into... I would start with a very low percentage of cracked grain because it's quite hard to handle and get, can get quite sloppy. So if you're more experienced, then add the proportion of your grains, but remember, you know, to soak them before, otherwise it's teeth grindingly Awful. And here we are, just a few kneading things, and you can already see how lovely it comes together. Still a bit sticky, and we could give it its first proof by just putting it on the table, a little bit of flour, put your bowl over it, and just let it sit so the water can be absorbed and the gluten can relax. And we come, come back in about half an hour to an hour. Oh, there it is, lovely. Lovely, very lovely texture and you know it's still slightly sticky up there and you actually will use a, a little bit more of the grains but before I just gently fold it on its back. There we go and then what I do, take a little bit of the cracked grain and just roll it all the way around. And this is 
how it will go on a tray now and needs its final proof until it's about double of its size and then we pop it into the oven. So what I have here, you can actually see by pressing on that, that this bread is ready. A lovely cut through the middle and I use a serrated knife. You might want to use a razor blade or anything else. Be careful that it doesn't break off or you hurt yourself. But one of these serrated knives does it well with a swift motion. You just do a little cut like that and that will nicely open up in the oven. And so let's come on and follow me around. And we actually have a facility of steam in our oven as a professional oven to develop a little bit more of a, a larger texture, not on every bread, but you might want to get a little flour squirter, you know, this one things you get in the builder's market, or uh, you put a little bit of water and just chuck half a cup in there and immediately put in your bread into the oven, set your timer and off we go. I just have a little peek so I know it's very well in there. Wow, there it is. Got lovely. Let me put it down here. See how lovely it had opened up in there. The cracked grain sits on top of it, you know, rolled in there. And that tells me still hot, wonderful, and well done. And this is how you do a whole grain bread.